Hello online community, welcome to Capgemini Invent Talks, I am Bianca and today we are diving into a topic that is both new and old at the same time. We are just starting to adopt it and develop it, but science fiction has been using it as a recurring theme for a long time now. You've guessed it, it's artificial intelligence. We have Nasir with us today to tell us a little bit about it. Hello Nasir. Hi. Uh, now I would love to talk about uh, sci-fi books with you, but keeping it into, uh, in a business perspective. First, why should businesses even invest in AI? AI is a tool that can enhance efficiency, it can reduce costs and can improve customer satisfaction. In a recent report that we had on predicting data and AI trends for the future, we show how AI can be a tool for organizations who are looking for having informed decision making, also drive business success, even in current climate of finance that we have. Nice, so I hear cost reduction, improved efficiencies and all these great benefits to drive business success, but I imagine they must come with a cost. Am I wrong? Yes, definitely it has a cost, but first of all it's investment. And uh, secondly, if, the, if you have right strategy, then it should not end up being very expensive. Like I have some examples. You could look at uh, cloud services that are providing AI technologies. Hmm. They are uh, quite cost efficient. Also, they could get scaled up or down depending on specific needs. You could look at machine learning tools, which could optimize the processes and efficiency. Also, you could look at uh, AI-driven customer engagement tools that would reduce the cost, also would improve your customer satisfaction. Great. These uh, strategies, can you explain them a little bit more? What can they offer? Yeah, this uh, cloud-based AI technology would uh, give access to AI-driven technologies without any significant need for upfront investment. Also, it's the, the most affordable and practical approach for organizations. It's so pragmatic. The machine learning tools, uh, you could use tools like an, uh, predictive analytics or natural language processing to optimize time-consuming processes, which would free up some valuable time from your resources to spend time on more uh, important topics. Also, uh, uh, you could use bots, you could use chatbots to provide 24-7 services for your customers and would reduce the cost associated with human labor. Sounds great, but even so, people can be scared of AI. They might, uh, it might take away their jobs in the future. Do you have any advice for businesses who are still a little bit hesitant? Yes, advice would be to start small and manageable. You really need to review what are your business objectives, what are your goals, and in which domain of your operations or processes you want to apply AI. Then you could start small and then over the time you could build your expertise and confidence and then you could scale it as you need. Also, you should remember that AI is not one size fits all solution, which means yeah. that you really need to know that what kind of AI solution you're going to adapt for what kind of problem you have. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where to start and how to start, my recommendation would be partner up with some vendors who have proven track record in providing AI solutions like Capgemini. And at the end, it is really important to have continuous analysis and review on the data to know A, if your investment is going in the right direction, and B, if there are any other areas within your operations that would benefit from AI investment. Amazing, great stuff, and I'm sure there's so much to talk about the subject. Please reach out to Nasir for any questions about AI. He will probably have a robot uh, answer your call. Uh, thank you for watching Capgemini Invent Talks. Stay tuned for trends in AI and more.